Ah, right, get me out of here. All right, so the security bot's been busy. He's over there making corpses until he runs out of bullets. What kind of corpses have you made over here? Don't care. I uh, can't see everything, but not too interesting. Same, same, and a tuxedo. Still do backpack in good shape, but I'm not going to run over there for that. All right, not seeing anything that's killed. It's either dead or has wandered off, and it's likely out of bullets by this point. Okay. Um, hey there, Mr. Vehicle. Got no wheels. We got no wheels, so we're not using vehicles to get out anywhere. Let's go up this way. Lucky grab. Unlucky grab. And we get a bite. <laughs> I swear. I run around, I run around, I run around, no problem. Weakest zombies in the games are causing me more problems than predators and all the other things. It's the decayed zombies that have kicked my ass recently with the grabs and the bites and uh, things like that. All right, take a second. Disinfect this thing. Back to walk mode. Soldier. Um, I'd like to kill the soldier on my way out. Eh, free MRE. Relatively free. Mm, I think I have one. We're going to grab that anyway. And naturally. Shrieker zombie. All right, you gotta go before you daze me. Standard camera. Oh, that's also high quality. Cell phone. <laughs> that doesn't have either quality. Hmm. What am I thinking of then? Uh, nothing near me I'm too worried about. Just walk our way out of here for a bit. So, this is a situation you have to be careful of if you're newer to the game. Don't go running out into fields. Make sure you save your stamina for the final burst of speed you're going to need. So I'm trailing these zombies. They'll never tire out. So you will tire out if you're running. Very, very careful you want to be when you're... Uh, Making your way out of a town like this. You don't have to be too far ahead of these guys. You just need to be a certain amount ahead. So you can actually get in your vehicle cleanly. Like right now is what I'm going to put on my sprint mode. And we're going to fire up the bus. And we are out of here. Alright. So, successful run back into town. Checked out the office tower. Um... Yeah, we did a real-time thing once. I, I can't remember all the reasons why I wasn't really impressed with it. <laughs> it has a real-time mode where time passes even when you're standing there. But um, there were too many ways to abuse it. and it, it actually was like the VATS system because you could open up a window or a menu to pause time. Um, so you just open up your inventory or open up your crafting menu or anything else and it would pause. So it was kind of like a VATS system setup, but... Um, I, I don't remember enough details about the episode, and uh, I, I wasn't too impressed with it. It removes too many choices and uh, tactical decisions. All right, so I'll have to check my gear again. So what have we? What have we learned? 
If I'm going to try to make that run into that Framingham area, it's going to have to be at night. We could go camp on the uh, camp on the road up here if it's clear. Do some reading and healing and all that until nighttime, and then try to make a run into town, hit the magic shop, and if possible, the antique and the recycling center. I just I just know it's going to be so many zombies in there. Possibly I could try to make the run in set set like the liquor store on fire. Then work my way back and kind of try to come around. But fires don't work like they used to, so let's uh let's give it a consider though. Let's let's head up that way and see what the situation looks like. Since we've got our Whoops, that wasn't healthy for my RV. So far, just a couple of minor zombies. Let's go a little further. All right, right here looks good. Step outside. We'll wait a little bit, see if anything follows me. Safe mode on, wait. Five minutes, I'll do it. A giant bee. That shouldn't be a big deal. Alright, so if we spend a few hours up here, if nothing shows up to mess with me at least, we'll um, we'll get our mana back, we'll get a little bit of healing in. I'm not tired enough to sleep. I do want to check the washing machine. So, really? I've, oh, there's my disinfectant. I don't know how the hell my disinfectant ended up in the washing machine. Let's grab the M4 as well. Alright, drop some batteries. Uh, get rid of that. Unload the camera. And we're back to moderate pain. I just... I don't understand. Again, pain just went up. We weren't at moderate, and we weren't at minus eight a few seconds ago. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on with the pain right now. It's getting me kind of riled up. Um, We'll just hope it bleeds off. Gear I'm wearing. Uh, we need to dump that extra backpack that we picked up that's now semi-trashed. And then we're wearing a raincoat, which is affecting some of my spell casting ability. But I'm okay with it for the moment. Alright, everything's buckled up. Let's um, turn on the stereo. Grab us a nice spell book or two. And let's learn. What was I up to? Fireballs. So oh, we got a fireball level, did we? We're up to 11, but it's broke and still annoying the piss out of me. We've got spiritual armor to four, getting closer to five, still 52% fail rate, and four turn casting time. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to invest quite a bit of time into these. Get them to be useful. I think I'm just gonna go for another level of point flare. Twenty-two hundred. We can probably get that before we 
head down. Pyromancy, point flare. Go. Alright, point flare, it's level 12. I think we maxed out the point flare damage. I think 64 is the max, actually. No, max is 8. Alright, so we haven't maxed it yet. We're getting close to maxing the range, though. Go away, B. You can't. Ah! <laughs> the uh, Shrieker zombie is going to make it so the B can get in. That's funny. Hey, B, go kill the Shrieker zombie. He, he's a big bum face. Come on, B. Get over here and kill the Shrieker zombie. <laughs> Good job, B. Now go fly somewhere else. Well, alright. I'll just kill you. Got me anyway. More pain. Yeah, I don't need the meat. Famished and very thirsty. All right, let's. About to lose the light anyway. Let's go ahead and cook some meat up. I am normal weight, so that's fine. Also have a multivitamin. Pull up. Sun's about to go down. How close did we get? Point flare. Ooh, quite a ways to go still. Alright. Pain is gone. Thirst will uh, settle out here pretty quick. Focus is good. So, plan. Move south into the forest. See if there's any way we can get to like the liquor store. Set it on fire. Hope we don't burn down this entire block. <laughs> It'd be nice to get into the doctor's office without it uh, burning down. Grocery store would be okay. But uh, bar, liquor store, I, I don't care about either of these. So if I can set either of these on fire, cause a little bit of a distraction, and then see if I can use that distraction to uh, get into that magic shop one way or another. I just need to run through it and grab up any magical books or gear and then get out again. Preferably to the recycling center. Again, just run by all the recycling bins, mainly the book bin and the metal bins. Um, grab up what we can, the antique store, same, and then just get out of the area completely. But I think even the fire is not going to help me near enough. So I'll probably go in... I might go in with a weapon, with a, with a rifle ready, and just uh, blaze away. Save the mana. Not happy about the hit point damage. It's going to take me a day to get that healed up. Still got a little bit of bandaging and disinfecting going on. Alright, let's just uh, wait out the sunset here. Bill says I'm very hungry and I'm hydrated, huh? Hmm. All right, let's have um. Feathers and a couple of shell nuts. Should be fine. All right, sun's about down. We've got, oh, it's clear. We've got a decent amount of night vision right now. This is a perfect time for us to head in.
grab the gun until we have to. Spells make noise, whoops, but not, not a tremendous amount. What space have I got? 12 out of 25. Let's take one more backpack with us. Just in case we get lucky and survive and make it to the uh, the targets. All right, lock mode. All right, here we go. This is um, yeah, this is gonna be dangerous. Safe mode on. Well, hi there, corpse. Child corpse. Um, that's fine. I assume the bee probably killed that. Coming up on the forest, let's go off this way. Up zombie. And a brainless zombie. Not worried about either of those. And a whole bunch of zombies. <laughs> all of a sudden, they get all rambunctious. We're so close! So close! That's the magic shop right there! Um, my fear is it's just going to be a solid wall of zombies to my south. So far they don't know I'm here. We can take advantage of the uh, limited chain link. I think my scent cloud's starting to get uh, detected by those guys. So, bar. Lots of ways in and out of a bar. Set this on fire or go for the liquor store. I kind of rather go for the liquor store and then just try to work my way directly across the street. Um, not wanting to try to get into there. Oh crap, here comes the pile of zombies. Now I've got the uh, Pharaoh Runner coming up behind me. He's definitely got my scent trail. Alternatively, I could just not set a fire. God dang it. Brainless zombie keeps stepping right into my way. The only reason I'm considering this is because of the, um, the clear skies I've got right now. That gives me the extra night vision range. Otherwise, this would be a really, really nerve-wracking trip in here with my two vision normally. So as soon as the weather comes uh, or clouds over, I'm going to have a bit of a problem. Hey there, Jugger Boy. I think I'm going to try it without the fire. We've... We've got a cr pretty good clean route into the place so far. I am steps away from the magic shop. Still full stamina. Nothing too nasty chasing me. So, oh, there's a dog. Dog can potentially cause problems. Now they've got my scent. All right, let's go to the front door. Run mode. What do we got? A treatise on magical elements. That's the one I've already got. Dang it. <laughs> There's one opportunity done. Uh-oh. That's a fireball wand? Wand of fireballs. What else we got? Crystallized mana? Alright. Another wand of fireballs? Not sure if I need multiples, but... Hey, stamina. Stuff coming in after me, it's gonna get a lot more dangerous here. 
Especially with my stamina. I stupidly let my stamina drop. Think that up, oh, up. Oh, Book of Trees. Ah, we can't use Book of Trees. That's druid. We'll grab it. Unfortunately, a book we can't use. Ah, here they come. Trying to remember, is there an upper floor to this place? The outside. That's the exterior sidewalk over here. I think I'm done. Alright, let's, uh, let's point flare this guy down. Just stay in the corner here until we get our stamina back. All right. So that one we've already got. The other book we found we can't use. We did get a couple of fireball ones and some crystallized mana, which I don't know how to use or take advantage of. I wanted to. Uh, all right. There's nothing in that corner. I think we're done in here. I don't see any stairs or ladders. Yep, nothing out that way. All right, I think we're done. All right, magic shop being cleared. Now, can we get to the antique store and the recycling center just right across the street? So close. Here's the problem. <laughs> Notice my vision range. <laughs> now I am all sorts of nervous. Ah, we went from clear skies with good night vision to drizzle. I got a couple of options. I could stay inside the magic shop and hope the weather clears. It's only 8.30 p.m. Or I can push forward and not see what's in front of me. Until it's too late and it's already chasing me and I either have to deal with it or keep running. And that turns into a, uh, a dangerous situation. Or I could flip a flashlight on, let them all know where I'm at, and then get moving. Which is kind of semi the way I handle things a lot of times in these city runs. Um... My big issue is with only a two space sight range, by the time the safe mode kicks in, I'm already in grabber reach range and I might already be pinned down with a grab. Uh, sometimes it doesn't fire off until they're directly adjacent to me already. There's, there's a lot of negative things that can happen with such a short view range, especially in such a populated area. When did running blindly ever turn out badly? Pfft, never, never. But wait, wait, What's what, what viewpoint are you talking about from? From your guys' viewpoint or from my viewpoint? Because <laughs> my idea of turning out badly is usually your guys' idea of a good time. <laughs> so I think perspective is an important consideration. I'm going to push it. What the heck could possibly happen? We do the cargo truck, lots of gas. You can use it for um, cover. I also have to go around it. 
Alright, where is the antique store entrance? This will work. That's the um, that's the parking lot, so this is the entrance side. Cool. Alright, we made it into the antique store. Until we break a display case or something. It's gonna have any items? Answer is no so far. <laughs> it's gonna be a completely empty antique store. Yeah, oh, it's got a plate. I'm excited. It has a plate. <laughs> Come on, antique store. Oh, you're messing with me. All right, antique store is empty. I do have a back door, so I can try to get to the recycling center a bit more directly. Uh, again, I don't know where the front entrance is. It's going to be on one of these two sides, so we'll go wrap around this way and hope for a... Well, let's see. Break the window, make eight sound, or work my way around to a possible door. I think I'm going to make the sound. <laughs> and I cut myself going through the window. I meant to uh, say no to that question and hit it again. <laughs> but instead, I crawled through the glass. Alright, so that's the glass one. That's the aluminum one. Um, not going to care about any of the glass stuff. Electronics. Batteries. Come on, batteries. Give me some good ones. Storage, a small storage battery, medium battery, and ultralight battery. Um, I got plenty of heavies in that very first lab. We've been picking up quite a few lights from random items here and there, and I've actually managed to grab a number of mediums. I don't think I'm going to bother picking up more. Another small storage. All right, no, no battery love. Steel. All right, steel can sometimes have something good. Steak knife and a metal wheel. <laughs> Not precisely what I was looking for. A manhole cover. <laughs> Rebar rail. Simple metal bolt. All right, well, we didn't get any love there either. Don't need copper wire or nails. Don't need plastic chunks right now, anyway. Neither walking cane. Is this the aluminum? Yeah, aluminum. Aluminum bats are okay, though. Uh, grab an aluminum bat. Because... Oh, no, never mind. Eh, I got the room. We'll go ahead and keep it until I don't. Okay. There's the book line. Give me the restaurant guide. Come on, magic books. Where are you at? Pocket survival guide. Ah, antique store and the uh, recycling center we got totally gypped we got nothing useful out of plenty of space plenty of weight damage i caused to myself crawling through glass and we're done with both of these I'm not gonna hit the dump I'm not gonna hit the warehouse if anything i would probably try to get to that dock office and then work my way back up to the vehicle but I guess it's not actually that far. The area is pretty clear up and around the front side of the antique store. It's just kind of catty corner that way. Or there's a house there and a garage. Ooh, I really would like to go check out that garage. Hmm. I'm going to go south until something spooks me, and then I'm going to run back up through that antique store and head to the dock office, I think. We've been astoundingly lucky that we haven't bumped into too much yet.
Uh, something caught my scent. It's following me in anyway. Oh my goodness. Fitted rollerblades. We're saved. <laughs> We're saved. Oh, how much trouble can I get in with the new stamina system with rollerblades? I'm taking them. That's guaranteed. I'm just deciding whether I want to throw them on right now. Um, clown suit. Oh, it's one of those bathrooms. <laughs> it's the tragic bathroom with a uh, uh, no <laughs> with well, a first aid kit. Bring a bell shotgun. Put to uh, appropriate use. Apparently, he was a sad clown. Cranberry juice and some tofu. Um, yeah, with the tofu. All right, garage. So if the front is on this side, then the back door will be right on the corner here. But if it's on this side, it'll be there. So, which side are you? I think you are right here for the door? Yep. Oh, it's good to know how these buildings are set up. We have an upstairs to the garage now. Hmm. Alright, I must investigate the garage upstairs. <laughs> What are we looking for? Welder? Acetylene torch? I don't want solar... Well, I kind of do want solar panels, actually. Steel frame. Screwdriver. Drive belts. Freak me out with a filter again. Uh, I can't remember if I have goggles or not. <laughs> Multiple welding and metallurgy. Whoops. Uh, what did I pick up that shot me over? That's fine. Throw on the other backpack. That's why we brought it. Wrench and another drive belt. And one acetylene? Nope. Not a single acetylene torch. Not a single welder. Didn't get anything out that I actually needed. Welding goggles I can work around in lots of ways, but, um, oh well. No easy fixing up of my vehicle, apparently. So that's unfortunate. Didn't I need a filter to replace that one fault? Mm, no. <laughs> Don't believe so. I need a uh, alternator, what I need, for the Humvee to get it, uh, so the battery will charge up. Either motorcycle that's going nowhere. Yeah, let's go check the second floor of this place. Hopefully it has one, alright. Quick save. I'm not putting up with this. There is no second floor and you fall on your face. Crap. <laughs> More stuff. Boxes. Is this like a office area? Yeah, office area. Pretty big roof. 
several drain spouts to go up and down. Well, one at least. Alright, last chance, and the answer is no. No goodies for us. It's interesting that you've got an upper floor here, though, that um, could make a pretty big base area, a pretty good base area, given the mechanics of the game and uh, upper floors being pretty safe once you've cleared them. Come on, had to be a bathroom. So, yeah, it's interesting. Either solar. This is the second floor of the garage. Of this version of the garage. I wasn't aware they had put in a second floor for it either, but apparently they did. I guess I could go check the office area, but I almost never find anything useful over here. Yeah. All right, well, we successfully got into the, uh, the garage. Add that to the list. Um, no way am I gonna try to get to that mill surplus. I think it's gonna be attempt to get to the pharmacy here and then work my way back north again with the doctor's office as our final stop. We've really, really stretched my luck already. Alright, so we're through the house. Ah. Our first thing that actually found us. I think now might be time for flashlight action. All right, another map and a bunch of empty shelves. What a surprise. And vending machines right at the exit. All right, kick that off. Back to walk mode. Grab the map, head into the back room. Second flu shot. That's the grand total. That's about that's about my average. Uh, we managed to get through. Alright. The only reason I actually did what I just did, because I knew there was a back door. <laughs> uh, I hate pharmacies. They're so useless. Now, partly really it's just me, probably, with my 50% item drop rate, but even at 50%, the number of pharmacies I've been in and the number of times I've actually gotten any useful medication is vanishingly small. I realized they were probably a pretty high priority target for when the cataclysm happened. <laughs> but you'd think the other places would be pretty stripped out as well. Alright, so pharmacy done. And we gotta make our way north. Get back across the street before that alarm draws too many guys directly to me. Oh, this two space sight range freaks me out. Uh, let's go through the building instead of around. Alright, where am I? Garden? Abandoned warehouse with the pharmacy next door. Debated whether I should uh, close that door or not. All right, who's breaking stuff? And is there a door over here? There is. Not. I'm not going to that pharmacy. Way too much noise and breakage going on over there. Doctor's office across the street, land center, and then get out of here if I can get to it. Uh oh. 
Um, yeah. I think this is another turn on the flashlight moment. I probably would have walked right into those three. Everything else is fairly clear if I just get away from that shock zombie. I think I'm going to try to go flashlight off, go diagonal down, and then up. Try to avoid them that way. Whoops! Right into the child zombie. Shock zombie sprinting down to where he last saw me with the flashlight on. <laughs> Alright, am I going to get lucky on the doctor's office sidewalk placement? I am not. Oops, we're on the back side of the building. Oh, crap. I don't remember where the rear door is in this one. Go up on the roof, and I think there's access from there. Oh, never mind. No roof on the doctor's office. It's going to set off an alarm. Let's see if we can get to the front door before we set off the alarm. Alright, made it in. Dock, one that uh, I'm not going to end up using. Jeez, absolutely nothing. That's the upstairs area. There's the auto dock. There's the anesthetic kits. And that's the thing I can't get by unless I phase door a bunch of times to try to get past it. <laughs> What do you think? Uh, Lobster Boss, mostly it's the uh, tactical and strategy portions of it. The game is so deep and broad in its content, there's very, very little else out there. And the gameplay style appeals to me. The amount of variety you can have in uh, starting characters, starting situations, um, all that kind of stuff. You just got to get over the initial learning hump, which is why I'm here. Why I help people. And um, for the first few months or year, you will uh, just be trying to stay alive. But after a certain point, you just start picking your own uh, end goals. And I've got Scores of examples on my channel of uh, challenge modes that I've done for myself and goals and all that kind of stuff. So, And if you uh, get tired of it, you take a break for a few months and you come back and it feels like a completely new game because of all the changes that have occurred. <laughs> Phase door, roll the dice. Yeah, you guys are trying to get me in trouble. You're always trying to get me in trouble. I'm going to do it, but I'm telling you, you guys are always trying to get me in trouble. That's a pretty small target to hope for, that I'm going to land right over there. But um, we've already circled this area, and we didn't have anything following us, really. And if I land anywhere else, I'm not too worried about it. So I'm going to give it a few tries. I don't want to burn all my mana, just in case I need some to get out of here. But I'll give it a couple tries, see if we can manage to land in the, uh, in the, uh, the room there. So, what's my cast chance? No problem. We can cast quite a few times, only 100 mana. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Actually, what time is it? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's give it a try. <laughs> I failed. 16.8%. <laughs> we failed. That sounds about right. Next up. And we went the wrong direction. 
Whoa, where the hell did... Oh, yeah, put me up there. Alright, that wasn't that far. Next try. Nope, just about the same wrong direction. Wondering if... Uh, what I don't want to do is end up over here, but... Eh, this is fine right where we're at. Nope. Different direction, but still not the right landing spot. Failed. What are we at? 3,300? We're fine. Ah, it put me outside. <laughs> I'll try one right here and hope it doesn't send me south. It sent me south. <laughs> Hey, security van. Um, you're not going anywhere. You got nothing in the uh, basket for a weapon. South again. What is your fascination with sending me south, game? Um, I really don't want to break the window. Area is still fairly clear. I'm just going to keep doing it from here. Failed again. Good old 16 percenter making itself known. <laughs> I just. All right, 2700. I'll, I'll go till 2000, then I'm stopping. Hey, we made it. <laughs> uh, and what are we going to get out of it? We're going to get a scalpel. I'm okay with that. Uh, and I don't care about anything else, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I've got plenty of that and I'm never going to use it. Don't need that. Don't need that because I don't have seizures or any of the other chemical imbalance stuff. Um, we'll grab an inhaler. And I think I, I, I am technically a technomancer. I'll take the UPS because I got space and wait for it. The rest of this, I don't need. I don't care. Alright, let's see. I don't really care where you put me as long as it's not in this room. There we go. Doctor's office is completely done. Um, I can't think of too much, too much reason to go to the internet cafe. I've never been there. I just know it's a bunch of computers. I don't know if they've stocked it with a possibility to have the computer books. I, I really stopped picking up books because I wasn't planning on doing a whole bunch of crafting or reading this run. Mechanics, I'm still leveling up, and maybe just a couple of others to a small degree. But, um, yeah, let's um, get out of here. Alright, so far it's been remarkably quiet. Let's, um... Oops, right into the arms of a zombie. I think that's the internet cafe that somebody broke a window on and they apparently have an alarm. Run mode. Running through grass towards sounds is not a good plan. You guys are all supposed to... Yep, there's the grab I didn't want. Um, phase door. <laughs> Uh, can we rename phase door? The anti-grab door? That's that's what it needs to be. Hey now, how did you know where I was? Uh-oh, it's a dreaded crawling zombie. That's my, my nemesis. Crawling zombies and uh, decayed zombies are the ones that seem to keep catching me out. Grabbing me for 12 turns. Ah, feral hunter. Where'd you come from, you bastard? Phase door. Run mode. I know it's fairly clearish up this way unless I wander into a horde again. Alright, safe mode on. Back to walk mode. All right, there we go. A little more damage than I expected, but half of that, like I said, was me accidentally crawling through broken glass, going through a window. 
We didn't really bring back all that much, but I am also running out of uh, running out of space to stick stuff. <laughs> um, I really need to work on getting a uh, welder or a acetylene torch so I can at least swap out some cargo spaces or something. All right, uh, what do we got going on back here? 32 out of 50, 10 out of 50, 9 out of 50, and 49 out of 50. All right, stop throwing stuff into that back corner there. Let's see, do I actually have... Um, I do have that small mana crystal. All right, give me that mana crystal. So, how does this... Well, let's, let's drop the rest of the junk first. Keep the crystallized mana and the mana crystal. We'll keep one of the fireball wands. Um, dump that. We'll dump... Man, I don't need both of these. I'll just read one when the light comes up and get rid of the other. I'll throw those on the book table. Oh yeah, I forgot. We picked up rollerblades! Got the scalpel, so I don't need the exacto anymore. Spare bat. That's about it. Alright. Alright, so how does this all work? Um wand of fireballs. A classic. This one shoots fireballs without fail. A more skilled Kelvinist could cast them more efficiently, though. I am fairly skilled. <laughs> Item cast fireball at level 5. Never fails. Compatible magazine is small mana crystal. So we're going to say reload. We have reloaded the wand of fireballs. Then we are going to say reload that. And I think, I assume that crystallized mana is going to reload it. You reload the small mana crystal. There we go. On the fireballs. And is the mana crystal... We got 50 more, so we could load it one more time, or I could go grab the other wand of fireballs. Now the issue is just that I can't get fireballs to work right. Nine fourteen p.m. Um, so we read and did stuff till the sun went down. So we're gonna get tired sometime soon. Seems fairly clean up here, so I'm not too worried about sleeping or anything nasty coming to get us. We do have another garage right there. I could go check, and the construction site. All right, let's um. I think I'm going to plan on going that direction. Let's throw a couple of bandages on real quick, though. So that one's still got one, so you get one! And you get one, and you get one. Have some uh, almond milk. All right, that should all be good. All 
All right, so let's, um, I think I'm going to, we're going to take a quick break. We're about to hit four hours, so let me go uh, get another bottle of vodka and uh, unplug the cookie jar, and um, I'll be right back. Then when we get back, I'm going to make another night run. I'm going to see if I can make it over here, check a couple houses, that garage, and that ex or that construction site, preferably. And then maybe that garage, and then pull back out again. That's the uh, that's the current goal. Is that a dojo or a fitness gym? All right, fitness gym. Yeah, I don't see much else up here. I would want to go visit. I think once I've hit that section, this whole section, I there's not a whole bunch in there that I'm all that interested in. So we might have to be hitting the road again here pretty soon. Pretty lucky that we found a magic cabin and the magic shop in fairly close proximity to each other. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything out of the cabin and we only got something that's broke out of the magic shop, so that's not ideal. I think the only place I didn't get to was the uh, the, the, the wands shop there at the gun store. Gun stores are supposed to have a chance for wands currently. Eh, it may not be true anymore now that we've got the magic shops. And the uh, magic cabins. Maybe wands aren't at gun stores anymore. I'm not sure. Um, fireballs have never been consistent for me. I think I had one short period of time where it seemed to hit a decent amount of the zombies. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it's pretty broken. I fired one off tonight in the apartment or in the uh, office tower, and I got. No graphic effect, no damage, no nothing, but it still burned my mana. And um, I tried it another time. Yeah, it's just, it's still broken for me. So, putting a pretty big crimp on my pyromaniac dreams to not have my beloved fireball or any AoE working properly. All right, but let me go take my break real quick. So, I'll be back in about five minutes and we'll keep on going here. See you soon. <laughs> 